What is up my crazy square? This is Joking Justin 4 here bring us the best class setup for the CUDA. Hopefully you guys enjoy this best class setup because I'm pretty sure it is going to help you guys a lot in the beginning since it is the first SMG to unlock in the whole SMG division. As you can see, it is the first one. So um, the CUDA, one of the first things I would like to say, it is the most balanced SMG out there. You can actually shoot from medium range with no problem and from short range. Now from long range, you're going to have to be kind of patient. If you guys saw my gameplay about the CUDA, you know, I did shoot sometimes from long range. But you're going to have to be a little bit stable in order for you to make those shots. Because if you keep on running, you're not going to make those shots from long range. Unless you can, then you're pretty much of a great player. So uh, the CUDA, it's perfect from medium to short range. Now... The CUDA, the reason why I keep on saying it is the most balanced SMG, as you can see the stats, it has a good amount of damage, good amount of range, good amount of ra uh, fire rate, and good amount of accuracy. As, as you can see, it's, it's almost to the halfway mark. Now, compared to the ones of the Weevil, Razorback, and the Vesper, you know, the Weevil has more fire rate, but no damage. It has, uh, the, the Razorback has the range, but no damage or fire rate, and then the Vesper has a lot of fire rate, but no range. So every single other SMG is like one-sided compared to the CUDA which is pretty much balanced out so uh let's move on to the attachments which makes the cuda a little bit more dangerous moving on to the first attachment which is the suppressor this one's going to allow you to flank the enemy with no problem and also kill the enemy with no problem because you're not going to be able to be detected unless they do have the footstep tracker or some other kind of tracker that pretty much pretty much uh you know puts you in puts you in their map and also the uav of course so uh, those are the only ways they can track you down but when you kill someone of course you're not going to be detected so at the suppressor you guys want to sneak around perfectly with no problem kill every single enemy without letting them know moving on to the ne next attachment on the long barrel it is very important let me tell you guys why it does affect the range all right that's one of the principles it does another thing it affects is the hip fire now the hip fire becomes super dangerous from close quarters combat you should be able to take out enemies with no problems like around 10 to 8 bullets in the mag so pretty much you're going to be wasting like one third of your mag for an enemy when it comes down to hip fire because without it i'm pretty sure that your hip fire will take out already like around half of your mag so you're actually upgrading the damage a little bit more on your weapon so add the long barrel to add a little bit more damage to your medium and short range combat moving on to the next attachment which will be the rapid fire this is very important in order for you to compete from close quarters because without it you're not going to be able to do that good. I'm telling you, without the rapid fire, this gun shoots kind of slow. Even though it does say right there in the stats of the weapon that it has, you know, high rate, uh, high fire rate, but it really doesn't. So, I'm talking about gameplay wise here. You know, the weapon does shoot super slow. So, at the rapid fire, in order for you to compete from close range combat and also from 1v1 situations, this can allow you to take out a lot of enemies from close range and also from hip fire. The hip fire it really goes off so um i'll be posting more gameplay so you guys can see a little bit more in the rapid fire on the uh Dakota. moving on to the next attachment which will be the stock attachment now this one will allow you to juke out the enemy pretty much a lot of times and uh, it's gonna make him miss you you know pretty much every time they shoot you uh they're gonna make him miss their shots so because you're gonna be moving from left and right pretty quick and also seeing how this game is super sluggish and there's no lightweight there's no um uh, well there's actually marathon but it's not as fast as uh, the previous cods um you know seeing how slow we are we can add to that the stock attachment on almost every single gun because uh if you don't add it you're gonna feel kind of like I don't know I feel like sometimes sluggish I feel like I'm not aiming right or something I need to move a little bit faster in order for me to to like get closer to the target or something like surprise him and um, you know this uh, stock attachment is quite important and also it does add a little bit more accuracy to your weapon I'm talking about gameplay wise here because I know most of you guys are gonna say like oh it doesn't add to your stats well gameplay wise it does make it a little bit more accurate Moving on to the perks now. The perks you can have whatever you want, but I'm currently using the flag jacket in order for me to like not die from grenades. Cause seeing how this game, pretty much every single minute is raining grenades. Moving on to the next perk, which will be perk number two. I have fast hands. Now this one's quite important because without it, you're not gonna be able to compete from close quarters combat. So there's a lot of things you gotta do in order for your weapon to actually become good from short range. Cause without this fast hands thing, you're gonna aim kind of, uh, you know, kind of slow. So add the fast hands in order for you to aim faster. Also swap weapons and, and uh, also reset the fuse of uh, throw when you throw back grenades. 
uh, that's going to add a little bit more extra stuff to it. So add the fast hands in order for you to become a little bit faster and also to, pre to prevent yourself from dying from, from, uh, from frags. Moving on to the next perk, which will be the Blast Suppressor. Now, this is going to allow you to flank the enemy even better because you're not going to be detected every time you jump. So that is it, guys. I don't have no lethal or tactical, and uh, I don't have a secondary. That is it, guys. That's the best class setup for the CUDA. I recommend to use it on short maps, on small maps, tight corridors. You know, it is good for every single map out there, even for large maps. And, and the largest map we have is a EVAC, I believe. And um, I have faced people from, you know, from open fields of long range, and I'm telling you, it still works. So the CUDA, an all-around weapon, use it every time you, like, um, just log in. You just want to go at it like whatever, you know, the CUDA will be there.